Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for um, your weekly. So it's going to be for October 27th to November 2nd. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys like a personal reading with me, I don't reach out to you guys in the comments below for personal readings. The only place you can get a personal reading is at my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. Yeah, King of Swords is coming out for you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. There's a sense of truth here. And we even see that uh, someone wants to reveal some kind of truth. We're going to have to see how that is in your reading. So how that plays out in your reading. So also, my darlings, if you are a fan of the paranormal, of unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries. All the information is in the description a box below. All right, so... We're going to be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going on by Taurus is romantic love life for October 27th to November 2nd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's take a look at the first day here, the 27th. What's going on this day? Wow, you guys have the Magician card energy. I really feel like somebody is just appreciating the time with you. And they're enjoying the moment here. I feel like you may have manifested this or someone has manifested you in their life, but they see you as an ideal partner and that you're the light of their life. That's what I feel like here. And they're looking ahead to the future here. That's what I feel like here. There's something stable about the situation. Something is being held up, like um, keeping it very solid. It's like there's a supportive energy here. That's what I feel like. That's what I'm saying. And there's a lot of growth here. Okay, so let's see what that's about. But let's go down further here. I remember this is going to be your day to day. And we're going to move into your love interest feelings here. And then let's see what the blockage is here. Ace of Cups. Wow. So we see, is this really love? You're asking them the question, is this really love? The song that I heard, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this the love? Okay, so you'll have to, I don't remember the name of that song, but that's the song that popped in here. Uh, so, and you know I don't usually do titles of songs or song singing, because I'm not, I'm not a good singer, so. <laughs> song singing, yeah, that's it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so we see that there's a lot of changes coming in for you guys with the Ace of Cups energy. Some opportunity of love here, Ace of Cups energy. And it's like there's a questioning going on within yourself. Is this really love? Is this really love? Is this really love? True love. Ace of Cups energy. So let's get more information about that. And let's also take a look at the bottom of the deck here. So Ten of Pentacles shows me that there is something to do with family or money or something established here. And uh, some sense of control or father figure here with the emperor card energy. Something like, uh, I feel like this emperor is, is that so, there's, a, some, there's some people around that seem like they're trying to like wield them to kind of get them to do what they want this person to do. But it seems like this person just wants to be free to do what they want to do here with the queen of pentacles energy. And we see, it like, it's like I want to stand my ground here. I, I know I'm going to make the best decision here on the long term, King of Pentacles energy, because I don't want to be brokenhearted about this situation. Okay, Three of Cups energy. So let's take a look at the Kipper here. Let's have my Taurus's Romantic Love Life, October 27th to November 2nd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also, Taurus, remember this is going to be October 27th, 28th, 29th, 30, 31. So this is Halloween. October, uh, November 1st, November 2nd. Okay, so let's clarify this magician card. Oh man, it's gonna be a great day for you guys on the 27th. That's coming up soon too. Also, let's get more information about why are you questioning? Is this love that, um, okay, thank you, Spirit. So you guys are, you guys are really questioning your emotions here. We got the Queen of Cups energy and, um, Possibly some of you guys have gone through a lot in your romantic love life, so you're questioning, like you're lacking hope. You know, you feel like love is, in a sense, hopeless for you. 
So you need to get out of this energy because Queen of Cups is like, there's a lot of contemplation going on. And uh, you're like really questioning, like, is it really that this, I mean, also it looks like this Queen of Cups is like a counselor and this person is like sitting there giving advice. I know it's a very specific message for some of you guys. So this person could be somebody who is a counselor or someone who is really healing and they kind of like give advice or they're there for you, that they talk with you, they're very nurturing and supportive. And so you're kind of like this, because of the nature of the connection, possibly some of you guys are like, well, I don't know, is this really a true love connection here? Okay, that's interesting. So there's a lot of questioning going on. I know that's a very specific message. We're gonna get more information, don't worry. All right, um, what's gonna happen with my Taurus's Romantic Love Life, October 27th to November 2nd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Taurus. Yeah, someone sees you as their ideal partner. Luck is on your side. Things are moving in your favor, okay. They're missing you when you're not around, okay. Let's keep going. God, my God, we got the King of Cups energy. Very, very much a love connection here. I feel it's like, you're like trying to see the bigger picture here and like, should I hold on to this situation? You know, is this the best decision for me when it comes to love? Yeah, that's what I say guys, that's what I feel like here. Should I make the effort? Okay, let's keep going. King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, James. We got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So it's like a strong, passionate energy here on the 29th. A lot of chemistry and passion here. Yeah, I want to just move forward. I want to follow the beat of my drum here. Okay. Hopeful energy to heal this situation. Okay. I miss you. I want to make the effort to heal this connection. I have this strong chemistry and passion for you. Okay. Wow, we got the Six of Wands. So it's like this person is, that's interesting. To me, this person seems like they're putting some bait out there for you guys, okay. To see if you'll take the bait. Okay, that's interesting, to get your attention. So it's like they're wielding something in front of you, like, hey, do you think that this is attractive? Do you think I'm attractive? Do you like this? Do you like this person? And so like, they're kind of baiting you in here. Okay. They want to see where they stand with you. Yep, main person. I want to apologize. I want to reconcile with you. I want things to go in my favor. I want you to make a choice. Okay, that's interesting. On the 31st here, okay, Three of Wands is coming out. So something you've been waiting for is coming in. And you guys are, I feel like you guys are standing back and you're looking at what's going on in the, like what's happening in front of you. That's what I feel like. I feel like you guys are like, all right, I need to keep myself in a solid place. And I need, I do, before I, I risk anything here, I just need to see what's going on. Yep, there we got the expectation cards. Again, saying something's gonna happen here. Something you've been waiting for. And you are getting some kind of spiritual science too about it. So by Halloween, you're getting some kind of intuitive message about something you've been waiting for. It's interesting, okay. So here on November 1st, we see, you're able to see the bigger picture here and rise above this situation. This person is about to speak a truth to you about healing this connection and being more than just friends, okay? Or to heal this connection, hey, we can just be friends if you want, okay? Okay, so I'm missing you. I wanna make the effort to heal this. I wanna apologize. You're getting some kind of spiritual messages here. There's something to do with friends, okay? Star card is the final card. Don't worry, this is the day today. If you guys stick with me till the end, it'll make all, all the sense in the world, okay? so. It's a lot of hopeful energy coming in here on the 2nd of November. And there's an awareness, there's a strong attraction here, a joyful energy, something to celebrate. We see something to do with an ex-partner here. 
Uh oh, what's going on this week? <laughs> I'm missing you. You're seeing kind of some kind of spiritual signs. I want to make the effort to reconcile. We see friends with an ex-partner to heal the situation. Go to the bottom of the deck here. I'm at a crossroads because of family. I need to bring things into balance. I'm confused. Things are turning in your favor. It's happening all of a sudden. There's a happy outcome, but you're needing some time to think about it to see how things are going to play out when it comes to this opportunity. Okay. Victory here when it comes to something that ended. And someone, there's a distance, ending of a distance main person, something you've been waiting for. There's a healing energy because of this attractive energy. Okay. Joyful energy there. Or because of a friend. So for some of you, your friend's going to help you with this situation. All right. They're going to intervene with this situation with this person. Okay. So you're manifested or you've manifested something when it comes to a very deep love connection. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We also had Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So we have two king energies. You're my ideal partner. I know you're the best decision for me when it comes to love and passion and chemistry. I just want your attention. I've been waiting for this situation to speak my truth to you. And it's really hopeful of a positive outcome or hopeful of a positive outcome. Okay, so what's going on with the love interest feelings, whoever this is? Okay, Eight of Cups. There's a sad energy here. And there's a person that wants to change. When it comes to an argument, they want to walk away from an argument, a fight. They're being very strategic. There's a sense of manipulation about their positioning. This person is lost without you. They feel left out in the cold because of this argument and loss and this, the fact that you walked away from them or they feel like you're avoiding them. Eight of Cups energy, okay. They're worried and concerned about this isolation because of a new person. Your person's shocked. They want to gain some kind of knowledge and they want to know something very soon. Wow, okay. So... Your person has uh, had some kind of breakthrough here, and they have, uh, that when it comes to this argument or fight, that there was a, they're at a loss here about what to do in this attraction. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. So we got the Ace of Cups here. So what's that about? Yep, there's a relationship, a lover's card, a commitment. So that makes sense of why that song popped up. Okay, is this love that I'm feeling? You guys can look up the lyrics too for this song. And it's talking about this love connection. And there's like a wondering, is this really love that I'm feeling? Is this the love that I've been searching for? And we see that there's this very deep love connection. And uh, it's like, am I gonna go around in circles? Is there going to be a commitment? Is this truly the offer? Is this truly the potential love connection? Okay. Let's go further here. Okay, so we got the Three of Cups energy. There's that friendship card coming out again. We got the Nine of Pentacles energy. Wow, okay, so we got the Nine of Swords. So it looks to me like a friend, or some of you guys are dealing with more than one person, or there's this friend. I feel like more or less it's this friend that really has this deep appreciation for you. And they find you very attractive. They, they feel that you have a sense of independence. They're really watching you, they're observing you, or there's a lot of people that are watching and observing here with a Nine of Swords energy. I, I get the sense that um, your situation is not very private. Like, like people are aware of what's going on with you in your romantic love life. Because we see you mirror this card is three of cups. So there's some kind of awareness going on. And someone, uh, family or friends are getting wrapped up in this situation. And you guys are like, well, I need some time alone. I need to, to be single and available. I need to have the sense of independence. I need to be by myself. Nine of Pentacles energy. I'm worried and concerned. Okay. 
There's something that you've been waiting for. There's this conversation that's about to take place of somebody who could be far away or someone who's gonna travel to you or someone that you've been distant from, okay? This conversation is about to take place. And we see a friend may have told this person, well, yeah, she's independent, she's, she's, uh, she's by herself. And then there is this worry and concerns here. This person's like, I want some kind of change, okay? You're the best decision for me. I want this relationship. I'm obsessed with you. Let me get more clarity on this Three of Cups. What exactly is this Three of Cups about? Shall we feel energy? I'm hanging out, having a good time. I want to be alone with you, but I'm worried and concerned. Why is this Three of Cups here? Six of Cups has to do with something to do with the past. Memories of the past, nostalgia. I need to think about things deeply because I'm going to have to make a sacrifice here. But I want to hold on to you. Nine of Pentacles again is coming out. I need some alone time, some sense of independence so I can get some clarity. Because this is going a little bit fast. And I need you to be patient with me because there's this defeated energy. Or should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? I need to make a decision here. There's some air of mystery for me. Um, I know there's a lot of chemistry and passion. And I'm, you're speaking your truth to me. There's lots of potential here. But I need to slow walk this Knight of Pentacles energy. Okay. Waiting to have this conversation for something to change. Okay. Temperance. Healing the situation. Protecting myself. Ace of Pentacles. Knowing there's so much potential here. So I want to talk with you about a relationship. About an offer. And how things are growing. I'm obsessed with you. I want to end this worry and concern that you have. This is about to change. I'm obsessed. Okay. Single and available to pursue. I'm making a power move towards a relationship. And I wasn't being honest with you. I've had to hide what's really going on with me. Five of Swords energy. And I've been defeated about this. I'm ready to make some kind of decision here. And I'm going to speak my truth to you about this. Wow, okay. It looks to me like because there could be three people involved or another person involved or a friendship involved, it's like there's stuff that's being done beneath the surface and it's like I don't want to tell these other people because these other people are going to pass judgment on this situation. I just want to have a conversation with you. It's something I've been waiting for. I'm ready to speak my truth. I want this decision. And then going down here, let's just see, getting more information here. You're the best decision for me, single and available to pursue. And I want to have a conversation with you. You're the best decision for me. I realize that you're your value, your worth. And there's been this separation, this isolation. I want to talk with you. I'm ready for this relationship. I want to make this power move. And you're stressing and, and anxious about it. I'm obsessed about you and I, I didn't mean to lie to you and I have so much regret so they didn't tell you about something and now you're going to find out what they weren't telling you before. So some situation you got, you're going to get wrapped up in here. It's a joyful energy with the Three of Cups energy. But it's still like this patient energy for things to come into balance because something about this situation has to stay hidden. Or was hidden. I really appreciate you and your sense of independence and really things have grown a lot. I really see the potential here for a long-term commitment. I'm ready for some kind of decision. Justice talks about marriage, divorce, just choice, just decision. I'm ready to speak this truth. I know you're worried and concerned, but worries concerns will be over here. I want to speak my truth to you. So they're going to have a conversation. They're going to talk with you about these regrets, about how it didn't work out before. This could be a friend, guys. Um, and going down the lay with the gypsy. Yes, this person's like, I have so much regrets about what happened in this stuck energy. And we see there's something stable coming in for you guys. There's memories of the past and a healing energy here. Again, someone's like, 
consulting someone, counseling someone, and receiving something of value here in this truth about these regrets about the past. Wow, this is going to be an interesting week for you guys. This is going to be a very interesting week for you guys. So truth is coming out. Are you ready for the truth, Taurus? Of this person that you've been distant from, it looks like there's a very deep love connection. Um, it looks like they're going to speak their truth. It looks like they hid this from you uh, before. They couldn't tell you before, possibly because there was another person involved. But now they're going to have a conversation with you because of old memories and regrets about what happened. And it's something that you've been waiting for. This situation has been stuck or was stuck here, but now it's about to end. The worry and concern is gonna, uh, is gonna be you know, revealed when it comes to this person. And they're gonna talk to you about the regrets that they have. That seems to be the theme, doesn't it? Okay. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. I love you guys so much. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys soon.